Peace be upon you. This is Mrs. Habir Ahmed, English teacher and supervisor, and this is Connect Primary 5, Unit 12, Fiction Reader. Lesson 1, A Fantastic Family Adventure. Let's read the story together. Rami and Malak are playing in the yard. Suddenly, Dad calls them from the house. Hey kids, come and see this story in the newspaper. The children run inside to see. Dad says, look, they found something amazing near Grandma and Grandpa's village. It's the skeleton of a dinosaur. A group of archaeologists found it. Uncle Yusuf is one of those. That's awesome, Dad, says Malak. The dinosaur skeleton is really old, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Malak, says Dad. It's about 98 million years old. Wow, Uncle Yusuf has got a really interesting job, hasn't he? Says Rami. Yes, he has. And his work is important too. It helps us learn about the past, says Dad. Later that evening, Rami and his family are having dinner. Dad says, do you want to go there the next time we go to Grandma's house? Rami says, that's a great idea, Dad. Mom says, there is a beautiful nature trail there. Why don't we walk that together? Oh, yes, please, Mom. I love nature, says Malak. Rami, Malak, Grandma calls. She is so excited to see her grandchildren. I have prepared your favorite things, Futir and Minty. Come inside and eat. Hello, says Grandpa to Mom and Dad. It's so good to see you. It's lovely to be here, says Dad. Tomorrow we want to take the children or a nature trail. Excellent, says Grandpa. There is lots to see in our area. It's a beautiful place. The next morning everyone is happy. They are ready to walk the nature trail. They are wearing hats, scarves and sunglasses. They have snacks and water in their backpacks. Mom has some binoculars too. She wants to look at the amazing birds that live here. They are in a beautiful part of Egypt with many types of rare animals. It's a lovely warm day, not too hot. It's a perfect day for walking. There are some cactus plants and palm trees and they see sheep and some camels. Malak is very pleased because she loves animals. Please walk quietly and carefully, everyone, she says. If we are quiet, we could see a phoenix fox or a Dorcas gazelle, or maybe a sand cat. The family continue along the trail. Rami sees animals' tracks in the sand. Dad takes a photo of a phoenix fox. Mom sees many beautiful birds. Everyone is enjoying the trail. Then, Mom says, Hey everyone, I have something in my shoe. Can we stop for a minute? She sits down. The others drink some water and wait. Rami looks down of the rocks near the path. He sees some strange shapes inside them. Look, he says, what are these things in the rocks, Dad? I don't know, says Dad. They look like bones. We are very near the place they found the dinosaur skeleton, says Mom. Maybe they are dinosaur bones. Rami is very excited. Let's ask Uncle Yusuf, he says. Dad, can we call him? Yes, of course, said Dad. Uncle Yusuf is very interested in the rocks Rami found. He tells Dad to take some photographs of them and meet him at Grandma's house for dinner. Later that evening, Dad shows Uncle Yusuf the photos and Rami shows him the place on the map. Uncle Yusuf asks the family to go back there with him the next day. The next day, they go back along the trail. They find Rami's rocks and Uncle Yusuf looks at them carefully. They are not dinosaur bones in the rocks, says Uncle Yusuf, but they are certainly very old. They are probably from a type of ancient ibex that doesn't exist now. Romy is disappointed because the bones are not from a dinosaur, but Uncle Yusuf says, Well done, Romy, for finding them. It's important to take time to look at the world around us and watch things, just like an archaeologist. Now, would you all like to come to the dig and see my dinosaur skeleton? Yes, please, Uncle Yusuf, say Romy and Malak. 
Here it is, says Uncle Yusuf. What do you think? Wow, says Romy. It's amazing to think it lived millions of years ago and that its bones were under the ground for such a long time, says Malek. In fact, we found the skeleton because of climate change, says Uncle Yusuf. Now, there is less rain and fewer plants. This means the ground is dry and the wind can blow away the sand. Things that were under the ground come to the surface. That's good for archaeologists, but bad for the planet. Later, everyone is getting ready to go home. Thanks for showing us the dinosaur, Uncle Yusuf, says Romy. It was so interesting. I would love to be an archaeologist. It's just a cool job. It's just... It's such a cool job. It's fascinating work, but it's hard, says Uncle Yusuf. Sometimes we look for years and don't find anything. We can help if you're looking for other dinosaurs, says Malak. Thanks for all the delicious food, says Mom. It was lovely to see you both again. Thank you, dear. Come back and see us soon, says Grandma. So, did you enjoy our trip? asks Mom in the car. Yes, I thought it was fantastic, says Rami. Me too, says Malak. What do you think you learned from it, asks Dad. Rami says, I learned it's important to look around us carefully and notice things in our environment. Yes, that's how you can discover interesting things, adds Malak. You are right, kids, says Dad. Well done. Listen to Characters and vocabulary. True or false? Correct the false sentences. Number one. Mom sees a story about the dinosaur skeleton in the newspaper. False. It was dead. Number two. The dinosaur skeleton is near their house. That's true. Number three. Uncle Yusuf is a farmer. That's false. He was an archaeologist. Number four, mom loves looking at birds. Yes, that's true. Rami finds dinosaur bones. No, he didn't find dinosaur bones. He found bones from an ibex. Number six, they go to Uncle Yusuf's office. No, they just called him. Number seven, Rami and Malak like fitir and minty. That's true. Number eight, rare animals are animals that you see a lot. No, false. Rare animals are animals that you don't see a lot. Number nine. The bones Romy found were ibex bones. That is true. Number ten. The surface is the outer part of the earth. Yes, that's true. Match the words to the definition and pictures. Number one. Dinosaur. Where is the dinosaur here? This is a dinosaur. This is a very big animal which lived many years ago. Okay, number two, bones. Where are the bones? This is number two, bones. Where is the definition? Our body has many of them to help us stand up. Number three, skeleton. Where is the skeleton? This is a skeleton. What's the definition? It's made of bones inside your body. Number four, tracks. Where are the tracks? These are the tracks. And where is the definition? This is it. Animals' feet leave them on the ground when they walk. Number five, binoculars. These are the binoculars. And the definition, they help us look at faraway things. Number six, ibex. Yes, this is an ibex. And where is the definition? A type of a desert animal like a gazelle. Number seven, archaeologists. That's an archaeologist. And the definition? Someone who digs underground to find objects from many years ago and studies them. And finally, archaeological dig. This is it. And the definition? When people work together to find something under the ground. Lesson 3. Events in the story. Complete the summary of the story. At home, space, Reads a newspaper story about a dinosaur space. At home, Dad reads a, a newspaper story about a dinosaur skeleton. He is very excited because Uncle Yusuf is working on the space.
space dig, archaeological dig. At dinner time, he suggests to the family that they see the skeleton when they visit their grandma. The family loves the idea and they travel to see them the next day. Grandma and grandpa are very happy to see them. The family go on a nature trail and see lots of beautiful animals and birds. Rami sees some bones in the rocks and he thinks they are dinosaur bones. Uncle Yusuf checks the rocks and says they are not dinosaur bones but probably from an ibex. He says it's a very good thing that Romy is talking is taking time to notice things on the trail. He also invites them to go to his archaeological dig, which they think is a lot of fun. Read and match the read and match to make sentences. Number one, Dad reads a story about a dinosaur in the newspaper. Number two, the children's grandparent live near the archaeological dig. Number three, Romy finds old bones in some rocks near the trail. Number four, Uncle Yusuf invites the family to the dig. Number five, Romy wants to be an archaeologist in the future. Answer the following questions. What does Uncle Yusuf do? He is an archaeologist. How old is the dinosaur's skeleton? It's about 98 million years old. What did grandma prepare for the family? Fatir and Minty. What did mom have and why? She had binoculars because she wanted to look at the amazing birds there. What plants did they see? They saw cactus and palm trees. Why did Malak ask them to walk quietly? Because she wanted to see some animals like the Finnick fox, the sand cat, or the Dorcas gazelle. What did Rami see in the sand? He saw bones. Why did they find the skeleton? Because of climate change. Why is it hard to work as archaeologists? Because sometimes they look for years but don't find anything. This is the end. Best wishes.